Good afternoon, Wanderpost fans, and greetings from the Wanderpost allotment here in Haskerton on a rather chilly and slightly damp uh, autumn Sunday afternoon. Uh, this afternoon, what I want to do is to show you that if you haven't got an allotment or a vegetable patch, you can still grow some veg in pots. And what I'm going to do here is plant up some garlic cloves for you to have a look at. Now, if you read my earlier blog, you might as well have seen that yesterday on Saturday I went with my daughter to the RHS Urban Garden Show and I bought these socking great big garlic cloves. Rog, do you want to come in and get a closer look? Okay, here we go. This is elephant garlic. Now compare this to your regular clove that you buy on a bulb in the, in the supermarket and there we are, look at the difference there. So this one on the right hand side is the elephant clove and that's what I'm gonna plant in this pot. But you know what we're doing with the Wonderpost allotment? We're showing you how stuff grows in Wonderpost, uh, comparing it with the part of the allotment that is not treated with Wonderpost. And I've done the same thing with pots. Got this pot here. To be honest, I haven't a clue how big these are gonna grow. Never grown them before, so I've chosen a pretty large pot. Filled half of it with Wonderpost and half of it with some really fresh uh, topsoil. This pot here on the right filled entirely just with topsoil. I have sprinkled the pots with a little bit of um, just a very very small handful of fast grow which I'm going to fork in now just like that and that's fast grow seaweed fertilizer. We've also got chicken manure on our website if you're interested. Okay so this is very simple. Um, get my fork, um, my trowel and these need to go, I need about a, an inch of soil above the top of the clove. So Roger, if you want to get in a bit closer there, put it straight in the middle here. Let's go in a slightly deeper, there you go, can you, can you see that? Okay, excellent, press that in nice and firmly and there we have. It's as simple as that, let's do that again on this side. So that's the one with wonder post and topsoil and this is just topsoil so here we go look at these aren't these socking great big clothes so about an inch deep from the top there and here we have it tap it down a bit don't know why I'm doing that really but there we go and that's it now of course what we now need to do is mark one of these pots to make sure that we know which is the one that's got the wonder post and soil in so thank you for the pen there so there we go edible uh, edible it's not an edible pen it's an indelible pen okay and there's the w for wonder post great let's put one around this side as well okay happy days now this is quite an early uh, variety so we should expect to see some rather giant bulbs being produced by May. So that's it. If you haven't got an allotment, don't worry. You can do some garlic in pots on your balcony or on your terrace or in your courtyard. See you later. Don't forget, power your garden with Wonderpost.